Hey, good evening. Uh, happy Wednesday already. Wow, time flies, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I gotta tell you something, okay? Because um, it, it's, it's kind of important. Um, I mean, if unless you are here, if you are here because you have to, somebody pay you for being here. For example, like Google, YouTube, employees, yeah. Then, then you can skip this part, okay? But if you're here because you want to be here, uh, I have to tell you something very important, okay? Um, it's a contract, okay? It's a verbal contract, and also I will have you sign by action, not by electronic signature, not by pencil and paper, but signature by action, okay? It's an informed consent, okay? Uh, it's, it's like a waiver or informed consent or because I'm a lawyer you know I, I have to uh, I know things about this okay so so by continue to watch this you agree that uh, you're not gonna sue me and also I agree that I'm not gonna sue you all right and I don't also you agree you and I agree that I don't sue you you don't sue me based on content or any repercussion from the content of this human life series, okay? Also, so that's term number one, term number two. Uh, you and I agree that uh, I don't owe you any money and you don't owe me any money, okay? So yeah, that's the deal, okay? If you agree on those terms, uh, then continue to watch this. Term number three. You and I, we agree that uh, I cannot promise you anything. I cannot promise you a job. I cannot promise, promise you a job in the White House. I cannot promise you a single thing. I cannot promise you any job. I cannot promise you any nothing. Okay? So that's term number three. Term number four. The, you watching this voluntarily so you're giving me your time, your attention, okay? I great, really, I'm very, very, I really greatly appreciate that, okay? It means the world to me. Now, so you give me your time, okay? And I give you uh, what my knowledge, I mean, not that much, but, but still, all the knowledge, wisdom that I have, I give that to you. Okay, so, so that's the term number four. Okay, so you are free to publish whatever that I present to you here with your own name. If you want to mention my name, go ahead. You may do so, but you don't have to. Again, all I'm asking is just acknowledge you are inspired by somebody. That that's all I'm asking. Okay, because I don't want you to be a thief. All right. So that just somewhere in the footnote, okay, just li one little sentence, okay, yeah, I was inspired by somebody, that's what I'm asking, okay, so, okay, go ahead, if I give you product idea, go ahead, <clears throat> make tons of money, make your own company, invent something, patent it with your name, okay, make a lot of money, okay, you don't owe me any money, all right, and I don't owe you any money either, okay, because, if I ever become very famous, if I end up proving Goldbach's conjecture, then I'll be famous. How about you? Uh, I may not be able to take you with me, okay? If I become Goldbach's conjecture, I mean, prove Goldbach's conjecture and become the president of the United States, will I be able to hire you in the White House? Not necessarily. Why? Because you and I may have personality conflict, okay? So what if you could somehow contact me and I hire you in the White House. I'm just fantasizing, okay, we are acting. Acting alert, all right? And then um, we found out we have just, our personality is not compatible, so I have to fire you right after I hire you. Then are you gonna go back to your old job? Will they take you back? So you just lose a job because of me, right? Because I hired you in the White House as a president of the United States, okay? So it may not work that way, okay? So, uh, yeah, I cannot promise you any job in the White House. I cannot promise anything. 
okay um, so if you like watching this if you get something out of it then yeah continue to watch it okay but I cannot promise you anything in return what if people a lot of people start watching this and I become famous and I start getting like advertisement revenue from Google YouTube will I share that profit with you uh, no why because um, I cannot tell the difference between you and some crooks who pretend to be you initial supporter initial watchers initial audience okay so there's no way I can tell between real you real initial supporter of this human art series and other crooks okay so and I don't have time to distinguish between the two all right so then what do I do with the money would I just donate to other charitable organization no I probably save save it and maybe move into a bigger house buy more cars okay buy more clothing bigger house probably that's what I'm gonna do yeah I will use it myself okay if you're okay with if you're not okay with that then um you don't have to watch this okay because I don't want to waste your time all right so the trend the deal is this you give me your time and I give, my, I give you my knowledge, wisdom. It's not much. I don't know that much. I don't, I'm not that wise. But the little that I have, wisdom and knowledge, I give it to you. Like I always have been. Okay? So. Well, this is pro bono for me. I'm not making any money. I'm doing this well because it's fun to do and second yeah it's pro bono for the benefit of humanity okay so education to leave something behind okay and uh, to share with what with the rest of the world what I know the little that I know I share with everybody here okay so that's the deal okay you give me your time and I give you my knowledge end of transaction okay there's nothing after Okay, so that's the deal. Alright, so if you're okay with that, then continue to watch. If you want to. If not, uh, bye. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I, I don't want you to waste time with this. I don't want you to waste your precious time on this. Okay, uh, unless you're getting something out of this. As of now, okay. Not like later. No, I cannot guarantee you promise you anything I cannot promise you any White House job or any kind of job or diploma certificate credit no I cannot give you that okay um, I cannot give you money either and I won't <laughs> okay so yeah I mean if this human analysis later on become very famous uh, it will be uh, by and large thanks to you initial supporters initial audience right yeah I thank you God bless you but all I can offer you is prayer yeah, I pray for you so that God bless you for and your descendants families friends for generations to come in Jesus name. okay so yeah uh, yeah I pray for you okay so. all right but that's it okay so we'll take five minutes break and we'll probably get back to Goldbach's conjecture unless there is something more to talk about ismology all right <clears throat> yeah oh one more thing Goldbach's conjecture I said yesterday oh it's not not nearly as important as humanology which is true okay Goldbach's conjecture is very small conjecture inside of this prime number theory inside of mathematics and mathematics in the world something very small okay so for human knowledge that's that encompasses the universe because human knowledge is very big field and very important it has huge significance okay but to me personally Goldbach's context of proof is very important why if I prove it I'm gonna publish it I mean unless you publish it first I'm okay with that too okay but if I pop end up proving Goldbach's conjecture you and I together and if I end up proving uh, publishing it first 
then I become very famous and I can take advantage of that fame in order to further my own agenda, like running for president or whatever. Okay? So it is kind of important for me personally to prove Gondorvai's point of view. It's like a trampoline. All right? <clears throat> yeah, fame. I can. I've been always wanting to be famous. Okay. To save the world. Kinda. Okay. Yeah, to be the president of the United States or whatever. Okay. So I need some tool to be famous. Okay. <clears throat> I've published books. I have written like scholastic articles. I have made a movie, but fame <clears throat> has never happened to me. Maybe some local fame, but not in you know, a national or international scale. And I've been always wanting that kind of international fame, but I haven't got one. So if I, if I prove Goldbach's condition and publish it, then I can use that tool of fame to further my agenda. Okay. Yeah. What's my agenda? Yeah, salvation of humanity, education of humanology, and more other publications and put my political um, ambition, all that stuff. <clears throat> okay. And Goldbach's conjecture proof itself, if we do it, yeah, then it's con great contribution to mathematics. Why? Because the methodology we, that you, we use in proving Goldbach's conjecture, it may be applied to other branches of mathematics and people will learn that. And you'll be also great inspiration for, to many young people, right? So yeah, it is important. It's just not as important as human knowledge. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Goldbach's conscious proof very important and also very interesting and challenging. Okay, so we keep doing it. Okay, we just alternate between Goldbach's conscious proof and something else. Okay, all right. Let's take five minutes break.
Okay, we're back. <clears throat> hey, I'm a lawyer, okay? I hope I didn't scare you. Scare you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just Weibo contract of some sort, okay? Ah. Ideology, ismology, will, humanology will get back to it some other time, okay? So, you just do good box conjecture, okay? So. All right. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna just uh, start writing some numbers. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. <coughs> Because human knowledge is so easy, right? It's so important, but it's just mathematics that is way too easy, right? So, we'll do some uh, difficult mathematics, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we have to do this, okay? Gold box conductor proof, I mean, it's uphill battle, but it's our moral obligation to do this okay why there's nobody else okay yeah and we've been making content progresses over the months we started this at the at the beginning of march so it's been what months and a half i guess um and we made a lot of pro uh, uh, progresses, so. Whew, okay. So. <sighs> Down there, I, I have another whiteboard from a long time ago. You have... Uh, uh, One ninety seven, one ninety nine, prime numbers. Two one one. Two two three. And the corresponding prime gaps. Two. Twelve and twelve, and two on one is forty seven prime number forty eight. Forty six prime and forty fifth prime, okay. <laughs> and the uh, G one set. The fourth gold box number set, just adding one of one to that. All right. Okay. So we have this missing links between two twelve and two twenty four, right?
Yeah. Let's go ahead and construct this uh, gold box triangle. Okay, what is it? Yeah, just add uh, prime gaps. Okay. <clears throat> the very first prime gap is two. All right. So prime gap, it goes like uh, prime gap sequence. Two, 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 four, two, 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 four, two, four, two. Four six two. Here, that's all we need. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in the partial good box triangle. So. And this So 220 is missing, so that, that that's what we are looking for, okay, so. Ah, sorry, I made a mistake. Two twenty, okay. So we have complete coverage, right? Okay. Between these two adjacent gold box numbers, G1, G1 numbers, uh, you have missing link, 214, 216, 218, 22, then 220 and 222, okay, so they are the gap fillers, the missing links, and it was found within the 47 by 47 uh, triangles, triangle, okay, so... 
and is it always the case or did we just get lucky all right so that's what we need to investigate okay so okay we are back on we are back in business we are back on the track oh boy so we are dealing with big numbers right like 212 and stuff so we're gonna reduce this problem into a mathematically equivalent problem but easier problem that deals with only uh, gaps between good box numbers which is prime gaps we want to deal with small numbers like 12 and less actually 10 or less as opposed to 200 something now okay so we're gonna juxtapose them side by side <clears throat> okay and that's the subtraction matrix that we talked about a long time ago okay it's mathematically equivalent problem but a lot easier because we deal, we're going to deal with smaller numbers okay right. so uh did i disappoint you a little bit well the thing is i care about you i care about your time okay so I don't want you to get like disappointed. I mean, what if I become very famous here? Then how about you? Uh, will you get to share some of my money, power and fame? That's something I cannot guarantee you. Okay, so if you're not okay with that, then you may want to have your own project and become money power and fame later on yourself all right okay that's why it is so important okay if i ever become money power and fame i cannot take you with me because i'm not god and i cannot tell who you are i cannot tell you from the crooks who pretend to be someone like you so what can i say Okay. So. But I pray for you though. Okay. So. Okay. Let's take a break, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's take a break. It's a bit chilly, so. Yeah. On the hero around. <coughs> <coughs>
it kind of goes both ways though. What if you get some ideas from here and you publish books, novels, poems, or you make movies, or you make your own company, come up with some invention, or publish journal articles. Oh, I'd be mighty proud of you. You don't have to tag me with you. Why? I have everything I need. Okay, so go ahead, get money, power, and fame. Okay, I'd be mighty proud of you. Okay, so this is place for inspiration. All right, just like Bible. Bible is very inspiring, right? Yeah, human analogy series. Uh, it will probably inspire you quite a bit. Okay, because Holy Spirit is with us. Okay, so yeah, we are learning together from Holy Spirit. So uh, yeah, go make money, power, fame. I don't. I don't need you to take me <laughs> with you. Okay, I got. I have job. I do my own thing. Okay. So yeah. Okay, all right. It goes both way. Okay, so so it's fair. Okay, because we are, we are human analogists. Okay, we know the dualism, dualistic nature of the universe. Okay, that's very innate, inherent in human analogies. So, okay, all right. Okay, let's get back to this. Yeah. Okay. Let me bring up that subtraction matrix. Whiteboard somewhere. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Uh, subtraction matrix, yeah, it's uh, it's easy, a lot easier, smaller number than this. Okay, but to construct it, um, it's a little bit trickier than this. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we start by just writing down, down um, <clears throat> these four um, prime numbers. <sighs> prime gaps. So how was your day? I hope you have had a very good day. <clears throat> Today was like, to me, it's like business get back, getting back to normal, kinda, a little bit, okay. Yeah, many of my coworkers work at home, but uh, me and a few others, we have to come back to work. It's business as usual for some of us. Why? Uh, it's it's forced into some exception. Okay, what are exceptions? Essential business, one exception. Another exception to, to this stay at home order. Another exception is a minimum basic operation. Okay, so. Yeah. Like main maintaining the inventory, you know, security and facilitating work at home employees that kind of stuff okay so yeah so where well, there's alaska executive or the the state mandate okay so because i'm a lawyer i yeah i studied it okay because uh we have to why what if people come to us and ask about compliance with the new law right yeah. it's part of the job as a lawyer is to learn 
quickly brand new law coming in right so that if people ask us consult us we have to give them advices right yeah yeah i like what i do it's, it's fun job when as a computer programmer i love what i do too it's just i've been doing that for a very long time and i'm kind of nomadic personality i like switching things I don't stay in one area very long, so nomad, no traveling salesman kind of, yeah. Just, just me. There's nothing wrong with uh, being with one occupation for a long time. Nothing wrong with that. No. Depend on the individuals. Quoting from Twilight Zone series. Okay. So, please don't hesitate to publish things from here. Why? Actually, I want you to publish things that you learn from here, okay? So that I don't have to. Yeah, even the gold box proof conjecture stuff. Yeah, go ahead, if you can, prove if I do, <laughs> publish if I do, okay? Highly encouraged, highly encouraged. Why? And please let me know if you do, so that I don't have to replicate your effort, all right? So that I don't waste my time, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be me, no. Not at all. Alright, so. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at that <coughs> subtraction matrix. Okay. All right. So what we do here is that uh, so this gap twelve. That's what we are focusing on. So we put zero and accumulation of. prime gaps okay so Okay.
So 2 minus 12, we are going back, right? So it becomes minus 10. Okay, and then um, minus two of that. Yes, yes. So we have two, four, six, ten, twelve, fourteen, and then sixteen. Okay, so that's the complete coverage, just like here. One, two, I mean, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute. Look at. Uh, two, four, six, eight. I'm sorry. We don't need all the way to. No, no. no. Yeah, we don't need twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's all we need. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Whew. So now we are back on track, okay? So now let me take a break. Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a while, right? Oh. We're back on track. <clears throat> All right. Now, what we gotta do, we are, we are done writing down for now okay what we gotta do is just watch and observe and think <sighs> it's more really brainy work right so yeah it's like this okay you're <clears throat> writing down right let's do some diodulum okay you have a uh, writing down and thinking right and when it comes to <clears throat> brain versus muscle writing down it takes a lot of muscle very many or laborious job but brain not much <clears throat> but thinking observing yeah, a lot of brain work but uh, not much this uh, labor intensive leg work okay so just died your died your own right there okay I told you it's everywhere all right Yeah, human allergy is, is everywhere, okay, so we we'll take five minutes. <sighs> now, let me bring this closer to you so that you can see. <sighs> okay. All right. Whew. This nice moose chilling up there. So cute.
Okay. Oh. Now this is four fly to uh, catch it. I guess it's springtime, huh? Fruit flies out, and the moose is still chilling in my backyard back there. So that's so cute, moose. All right, let's think about this. <sighs> Our good old friend, gold box conjecture proof problem. Good old friend. Yeah. I guess I kind of miss this gold box thingy. Yeah. Let's just chill like Alaska moves back there. Let's just chill. Not a worry in the world. Yeah. Something funny, okay, these White House doctors, okay, I'm sure they are enjoying all the attention, White House doctors, you know, in the press conference, the world is watching them, I'm sure they're enjoying this great money, power, fame. They're overdoing it, right? Scaring Americans like that. Come on. They're being so transparent. At least to me, they are. Uh, you see, what President Trump is doing now, all he's doing is coronavirus, coronavirus in the White House, right? This press, daily press briefing, all, that's what, everything that he's doing. Coronavirus, coronavirus. Do you know what that means? That means everything else that he has done in his, what, by now, like three years, four years so far in his presidency, they are all non-essential activities. Okay. I Congress same way. Okay. These legislators, lawmakers, they make laws after laws after laws, but all those things that they do, I think that's just waste of time. Okay. Very non-essential things that they are doing. Mostly. Mostly. Okay. It's just partisan fight, right? Abortion, no abortion. Come on. Ideological battles, something very wasteful and non-essential, right? Yeah, president, what President Trump has been doing as a president, non-essential, right? Something very unimportant, like arm wrestling with China, with this trade war and stuff. Non-essential, okay. It's just retirees chess game, okay? It's, it's, that's that's yeah. President, Trump, I mean, they. So in the navy, there's this uh, acting secretary who resigned, right? And there's this report uh, that uh, the trip that he made from Washington D.C. to uh, what is it, Samoa or Guam, he cost taxpayers like uh, what? Two hundred thousand dollars or something, yeah. Do, how about Mr. President Trump's what Marine One, Air Force One to go to his campaign trail to give out his speeches uh -huh. from to all these different states? I'm sure it cost a lot more money than that. Maybe half a million per trip. You have security details. You have secret service agents and motorcade and. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive than two hundred thousand dollars. Okay. What a waste. All these non-essential travels by governmental officials. Such a waste. That's something we can learn from this coronavirus situation, okay? All these non-essential wastes of taxpayers' money. 
President Trump's campaign speech travels. Okay. Uh, what a waste. Yeah, they just they stopped the entire economy, national economy, and then the stimulus package. Okay, well, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll take it, but it doesn't really make any difference. I mean, what does it cover? What one month mortgage? Uh, it's better than nothing, but uh, probably I just save it and use it as one week vacation package. Later this year, I guess. Uh, yeah. But government, they don't have any money. U.S. government is like trillions of dollars in debt. <laughs> so they cannot just keep giving money. They don't have any money, U.S. government. They are in trillions of dollars of debt already they got no money it's a very ill-conceived plan lack of leadership lack of wisdom okay yeah <clears throat> by the way yeah i misaligned this This number is supposed to be here. Okay. Yeah, like diagonal way. Oh, yeah, diagonal. Yeah. Okay. Let's just chill a little bit, okay? I had, I had quite a long day today, okay? I went to work earlier than usual. And I stayed a little bit later than usual, okay, so a little bit bit. <sighs> so how do you avoid getting sick? Take a good rest, do not overwork, all right? Yeah. Eat well, exercise well, wash well, social distancing, then you'll be fine. It's common sense. All these politicians and White House doctors, they're just having a ball, okay? They got the world attention, attention from the world. They're like so happy, like money, power, and fame, right? Uh, doesn't look that, doesn't look very good, right? Yeah, and how about President Trump? What, malaria drug? What, hydroxychloroquine or something? What does he know? He said, yeah, you got nothing to lose by trying this drug, but Again, ignorance. Why? Any drug has side effect. Okay? So, yeah. Drugs have side effects. All right? President Trump, he, he's a very ignorant person. So, But I love editorial cartoons about President Trump. Okay? So, last night I typed up this Trump virus cartoons in the web and oh he was so funny I like him okay he's funny but not very smart all right yeah he's a decent guy don't get me wrong
Wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's off by one, okay, so. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it matches. Okay. Yeah. Correct pan to this, okay. I'm sorry it's not aligned very well, but eh. so this, this, that, 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 that. Okay, yeah. eight rows. Okay, so it seems, <clears throat> I mean, beyond 10, we have 14 missing, 20 missing, okay. Let's go get them, okay. So we got 14. Uh, 20 missing. Okay, okay. Well, it's still missing. Okay. And that's. Hmm. Kind of getting curious. Yeah. Oh shit. shit, shit. <laughs> I'm also martial art, okay, so I I'm, I can be pretty quick reaction. Um <sighs> Yeah, so if you know martial art you will significantly lessen the chance of injuries okay if you know martial arts okay you, you develop the skill to react very fast agile agility okay you should learn martial art okay also dancing as well all right i mean other sports i'm sure you can learn agility as well but i don't know any other sports okay so i cannot speak for it all right so I've just uh, whiteboard down there so I can peep at it. Minus 12, 24, 22. Minus 12. Ten eight, ten six. So twenty is still missing. Okay. What else is missing? So ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I mean sixteen here. Eight. I. 
we want to be minimalist okay so 16 18 20 20 is still missing okay what's the prime number between uh, before 197 I have to look up yeah let's take five minutes break okay I'm gonna grab my cell phone and we'll do this number hunting okay so all right let's take five minutes yeah we're back we are back to this problem okay we renewed our interest in this Very interesting. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the moose has gone away.
Yeah, we do this gold bus conjecture because we feel the need of intellectual challenge, right? Human knowledge is just too easy, right? <laughs> so it get, we get bored of dealing with human knowledge because it's just too easy, right? So, but gold bus conjecture, that's a challenge. That's why we do it, okay? Because uh, to challenge us broaden our intellectual level okay so it's a good mixture human allergy and gold box conjecture okay we alternate all right until we prove this after we prove this oh no worries there are more problems in mathematics that than we can solve all right all these unproven conjectures. Mathematics is so full of it, all right? So, no pun intended, okay? So, okay. Yeah, let's take a break from this, okay? Over the decades, I have met many people. I have worked in many different environments. I have traveled the world and, yeah. So, so, in a work environment or maybe your group project in your school okay talented individuals many times they have personality conflicts okay uh if you are like me humanologist uh our type is alpha and omega type we know how to be alpha we know how to be omega just like god okay we know how to lead we know how to obey Okay, it's, you should be able to do that both. Okay, just be like God. I find oh my God, it's one interpretation in human analogy. Okay, I guess I accidentally erase partially. Right. So, yeah, so, uh, but to have a success group project, you have to tolerate each other's vastly different personalities, okay? So, so you have groups, right? In your school project or in your work setting or political setting whatever right i have seen many groups that's like in a party mood like popping the champagne way too early right they're so happy to have this group in a group project everybody's getting along everybody's happy then they fail all right the groups in a group project that actually succeed uh, they are the one who like have this internal conflict and because we have talented individuals with very strong personalities but they tolerate each other right so it's like life is becomes like hell to get this project done because they have to tolerate each other and each of them are very talented individuals with strong personalities but they tolerate they are the ones who succeed the idealism okay plus minus or minus plus minus plus a lot of pain and suffering and they succeed pluminosism okay plus minus yeah party everybody agree so easily this group thinking right and they, they fail okay i've seen it so many times and one particular uh personality type i want to mention is this Chewbacca, Chewbaccian personality. They are like kind of brute force kind of people, very mean, <laughs> very low level, this like very like street fighter kind of like President Trump, right? Very Chewbaccian personality. President Trump. Very rude, very mean, okay? But they got some fantastic job skill, okay? Some, some job skill, okay? So, we cannot dismiss that. President Trump, he got older to the top, President of the United States, right? So, uh, yeah, there's something 
uh, good about him. Okay. Yeah. They're very Chewbacca-ian. Chewbacca, right? Yeah, very brutish, very mean, low-level, primitive, like apes, animalistic, bestial. But amazing job skill, like Chewbacca in Star Wars movie. Okay. Okay. Alright. So that's what it takes to have a successful group project. You may think I know I know nothing about working in a group. Uh, actually, I do. Okay, I go to work. I've been to schools. I've been to U.S. Army. Okay, yeah, I know how to work in a group. It's about tolerance. Okay, it's about. Being a big man or a big woman, okay, magnanimous, forgiving, tolerance, okay. <sighs> yeah. Because nobody knows it all, all right? It's a complementation of different contribution, different sets of talents from different people with different backgrounds, right? We need that to have a successful group project. Right? And because they are different, it's good for the project because they contribute different aspects of this group project. But because they are different, there is this conflict in personality. We have to tolerate that. Okay? Right. Yeah. In academia, business, school, religion, politics, it's all the same, okay? Yeah, there's some human knowledge called wisdom there, okay? Another thing that's important in a group project is that uh, you have to uh, give opportunity to people who are kind of quiet, okay? Because many times they are the one with very good ideas, okay? So people who don't speak out very much, you have to consciously and conscientiously give them some spotlights. Why? Because some many times they are the smart ones, okay? So the quiet ones, you have to give them some spotlights. Hey, what do you think? Okay, because many times they have very good solutions. Okay, so don't forget that, all right? Okay. Let's look up this prime number table, all right? Yeah. What's the prime number before 197? I don't know I'm from the top of my head, so I have to look it up. One ninety-three. All right. I don't know. Forty-fourth <laughs> prime number one ninety-three. I have no idea. I don't memorize these things. No. I have better things to do than that. Okay. Yeah, they're cousin prime. Cousin prime is okay. Right? Minus four. So. Ah, boy. We don't need any negative numbers, okay? So, minus four. Uh, 22. Still no 20, huh? Hey. Okay, I wish I had a bigger whiteboard, but uh, it is what it is. Is 191 a prime number? It is? Okay, okay. So we got 20, 
penny, finally. Okay? Twenty four and twenty, okay. Uh, Eighteen, oops, so beyond ten, that's all we need is. But for continue to say, no, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, uh, twenty four, twenty six. 28, 30, okay? I'm pretty sure if we go down further, let's go down further, okay? Let's go as far as I can, we can. <sighs> Just for fun. We have 40, what's the next one? Uh, 42. Okay, I just should just shit right there, okay, so Wait a minute. Eh. No, we didn't quite get twenty yet. Oh. Yeah, whatever, okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it is difficult problem, really. We're gonna need another whiteboard, okay? And write this down all over again. Ah. No wonder nobody proved gold box condition for 250 years. How many people tried to prove this? Maybe a couple of thousand mathematicians, both professional and amateur. And Professor Bo Bogorzelski, he may have proved, proved it, okay? But I don't know, and nobody knows. Right, it was such a long proof, so and they should at least publish it somewhere, okay? Presumptive proof, right? They should at least publish it somewhere so that people can see whether it's correct or not, right? So, professor in University of Maine, I think, uh, he did. Try to publish it, and uh, 
to a journal article, journal, and the journal, they didn't get back to him, okay, so basically they rejected his paper. They should at least publish it. Because he could have proved it, right? Who knows? Oh boy. We'll take five minutes break, okay? And we'll step back and I explain to you what we are doing here. All right? Yeah. We we'll go back to gold box triangle and we we'll review it. Okay? Take five minutes break. Yeah, yeah I'm doing my laundry. So. so. my moves.
Okay. Let's take a break from all this, okay? Yeah, I, I, I guess I kind of criticized the marriage between Prince, Prince Harry and Miss Meghan Markle and also the marriage between uh, Miss Ivanka Trump and Mr. Jerry Kushner. Yeah, I, I, I didn't quite like their marriage and also marriage between Mr. Quincy Jones and his ex-wives and marriage between Tiger Woods and his ex-wives. Yeah, didn't like what they were doing, but they have beautiful, beautiful children. Okay, yeah, mixed race children. Yeah, they're beautiful. Okay, very exotic, mysterious. Okay, yeah, they're very beautiful. I, I know. Okay, so. and they're very smart too. Okay, so and I have nothing against mixed race children. Okay, no, they're beautiful. Okay, yeah, children of God. Okay, so they were beautiful. All right, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't like this t Miss Taylor Swift posing with this African American gentleman. He's very handsome guy. Okay, this ultra interracialism. I I I don't like it. Okay, so and. No. And um, it's not just between two different races. Sometimes people like uh, Mr. Clint Eastwood marry this beautiful young woman, and they, if they don't have any children, they're wasting genes, okay? I didn't like what he did, okay? As an old man, he's not going to have any children. Marrying beautiful young woman, what a waste of her gene, okay, if they're not going to have any children, okay, so this. <sighs> Celebrities, right? <sighs> That's so horrible, uh -huh. right? Are you have Billie Eilish, Lady Gaga, right? Their style. Yeah, the demonism, monstrosity. They kind of looks like coronavirus. Very difficult to watch. Very <laughs> unseemly, to put it lightly. Okay, Miss Billy Eilish, Miss Lady Gaga. Okay, their style very demonic monstrous very difficult to watch okay it's like ugh, it's just not my cup of tea okay just put it lightly all right and not a huge fan i'm not a huge fan okay mr steve monochan okay he's ethnic man he's not caucasian okay but he married this caucasian lady and Mr. Rabbi Zacharias and his sons, okay, they are Indians, okay, marrying these Caucasian ladies, blondes. I did not like what they did, okay, so to me, those marriage, marriages, and I'm just, I'm, I did not like what they did, okay, so, not a huge fan, okay. All these football stars, basketball stars, baseball stars, ethnic men, marrying different races. I didn't like what they did, okay, so. Yeah, Mr. Senator Ted Cruz, Mr. Senator Marco Rubio, both of them married blonde ladies when they are Senator Cruz, Senator Ru Rubio, they not Caucasians, okay, so 
Yeah, I did not what I'm not a huge fan of them, okay? I'm sorry. What can I tell you? Anyways, okay. So we got back on track with this gold box conjecture problem. Um, oh yeah, gold box triangle. Okay, I, I gotta explain that to you. Let's review. All right. Yeah. Let's step back. Let's review what we did long, long time ago. All right. A long, long time ago, I can still remember. Oh, give me one second. Give me five minutes, okay? Hello?
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was just talking to my friends, okay? So, let's take a look at this gold box triangle and what it means. Alright, so... Horizontally, you have this list of prime numbers, okay? We exclude two and include one. Why? Just to make it simpler, alright? We want all the odd numbers as primes, okay? And vertically, you also have prime numbers. Okay? Now, so you have n by n square matrix, right? The content of this matrix is begotten by adding two prime numbers, odd primes. Okay? So you, if you add two odd numbers, or the summation of that is even numbers. Okay? So that's what we call gold box numbers. And why is it triangle? Because the lower half is symmetric to the upper, tri upper triangle. Okay, so we don't want any redundancy. It's a waste of time. That's why we have gold box triangle. Okay? Because gold box conjecture again is every even integer can be expressed as summation of two prime numbers. That's gold box conjecture. Okay? Now, let's add two prime numbers and let's see if it covers entire even integer set. That's mathematically equivalent proposition. All right? So that's the very first step. We systematically and exhaustively add up Two prime numbers, that's gold box triangle, the content thereof. Alright? So that's first step. Second step, second equivalent problem is this. How about G1 set? The very first row in this gold box triangle, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, then 12. 10 is missing. Okay? So this G1 set doesn't quite give you. The complete coverage of even integers. 10 is missing, alright? But can we find this number 10 missing link in the prior gold box triangle? Why? Because if we can, if we always can, then every single even integer can be expressed as summation of two prime numbers. Why? Let's say you have missing gap 6, this prime gap, right? So between 24 and 30, which is begotten from adding 1 to uh, 23, 23 plus 1, 24, 29 plus 1, 30, right? That's a G1 set. You're just adding 1 to sequence of primes, okay? So set addition, all right? So 24, 26, prime gap 6, so what are missing in even integers 26 and 28 is missing right so can we find 26 and 28 in the previous gold box triangle yeah 26 28 right there okay is it always the case the gap fillers can we find always this missing links in g1 sequence can we always find missing links in the prior gold box triangle if you can prove that then we are done. That's the proof of gold box conjecture. Why? Because all the even numbers, complete coverage of even numbers, can be expressed as summation of two prime numbers in the previous gold box triangle. Okay? Whew. So, subtraction matrix, what we did, uh, we'd only care about this gap, prime gap, like between 26 and 30, Prime gap 6, right? 24, 30, that's big numbers. But prime gap 6, that's a lot smaller number, okay? So it's easier problem to think about. That's why we do this subtraction matrix. It's like delta concept difference, all right? So that's why we are doing what we've been doing, okay?
good box triangle approach in a nutshell. There you have it. Okay. Yeah. We got about one hour left, all right, so uh, we did quite a good work here because um, <sighs> we got back on track, all right, yeah, we kind of got back to work. Okay, so, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Probably what we need to do next is that, uh, you know, that <coughs> 47's prime number, 2 on 1, we got to expand backward from that, okay? You have 2 on 1, 199, 197, 193, 191, 181. Yeah, we got to construct that, okay? I think that's what we need, and to observe the coverage of even integers there. Okay, I think that's what we need to do next. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a lot of legwork. Very laborious task but it's necessary, all right? Why? Prime number is like mysterious, unknown, uncharted territory, so the only thing we can do to understand these prime numbers is to enumerate them and observe, try to observe some patterns, the, the behaviorism of numbers, that's the only thing we can do, all right? And you know, in our past experiences, yeah, the systematic enumeration method, it always gives us some good result, all right? As long as we design it correctly, all right? Yeah, I goofed off a couple of times because I designed the algorithm wrong, okay? And let's up, let's uh, let me express some appreciation of my friends. Okay, so I have many friends who encourage me to do this mathematics, gold box proof, and others like human knowledge and stuff. I have many friends who really encourage me keep doing this. Okay, although my friends are only people who are watching this. Okay. A few of my friends and also yeah mr miss google youtube employees yeah they're the only ones watching this or maybe some people that i have never met okay every once in a while okay but yeah go to box contact proof yeah uh we keep doing this until we get it okay why because we want some intellectual challenge. We need it. 
Okay. Something I'll, again, something I'll learn from my friends, right? Yeah. We need it. I learn from my friends, okay? Yeah. Humanology, that's not an intellectual challenge. <laughs> Humanology, oh, that's not intellectual challenge at all. No. That's easy stuff. Alright? But at the same time, very important stuff, okay? For gold box contact proof, that's very intellectually challenging. That's why we're doing this. Prime number theory, okay? But humanology is not intellectually changing at all, but we do it because it's so important thing to do. All right. Yeah. So we came up with another dialogism, right? Yeah, humanology, gold box conjecture, uh, importance, and intellectual challenge challenging okay humanology important yes is it challenging no it's easy gold bus connector is it important no not that much but is it challenging yes the idealism right there okay so. okay yeah okay plus minus minus plus the idealism all right Okay, we we'll take five minutes break and then uh, we we'll go ahead and grab another whiteboard and make that subtraction, partial subtraction matrix. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me refill my berry drinks here. Yeah. It's so important to have support from your family and your friends. It's so important, okay? So, yeah. You may think I'm a loner, alone. I am, but at the same time, I talk to my friends, my families. I mean, my family members. I only have one family, right? Yeah, I talk to them all the time, like email, texting, phone call my friends and family i talk to them all the time okay so yeah i'm not that lone or really not really okay i can be very social all right yeah i can kind of look like social butterfly too all right yeah i love people but at the same time i love my Lone time as well. I want some balance. Social time versus lone time. I need them both. Don't you? I'm pretty sure everybody's like that, okay? Yeah. All right. We'll take five minutes.
Hey, what if we take a break from all this mathematical bumbo jumbo for a second, okay? Yeah, we know what to do next, right? So, we have like 30 minutes left. Let's just talk about something else, okay? We got back on track. We got back to work. Let's talk about something else, okay? Oh my goodness. Give me a break, please. <sighs> Whiteboard transfer, right? Shoot. Okay. Do you know of this group based in New York? It's called Manhattan Transfer. Yeah. Borderland. Fantastic song. It's kind of very New York Manhattan spirit. Kind of sounds like musical song, okay? Borderland is is some kind of a restaurant, I guess. Club where all these back in the days, 60s, 70s, these uh, musicians, jazz musicians, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they came to Baldland and made this club concert, live music in Manhattan, New York, back in the days. Baldland restaurant, club, bar, I don't know. Never been there, okay. Yeah, this Manhattan transfer, they sang this song. Maybe I should sing you that song, okay. Why not? I sing your song, okay? Then we'll talk about something else, okay? We'll talk about Copium transfer, all right? Yeah, humanology, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying, to, I didn't try to rhyme Manhattan transfer and copium transfer. I didn't, it's coincidence, purely coincidence, coincidental, okay? So, didn't even work out to me, okay? Let me get that brand new red wine I purchased from Walmart. This red wine is running out. Yeah. We'll just put it over there. I love this song. Manhattan Transfer Birdland. When I first heard it, maybe in a radio, blew my mind away. So it's like Emmanuel Kant, right? Kind of I a priori, priori as opposed to a posterior past terrori, whatever, past, I don't know, past terrior, past terrori, whatever. Yeah, sometimes when it's the very first time you watch this movie or you listen to this music, watch this painting that you have never seen before, never heard before, you instantly like it. So it's a priori, okay, it's like something rings true about this melody or percussion, even if, even though you never heard it before, or this painting, you never seen it before, but you instantly like it. So it's not based on experience. Okay, so that's Mr. Immanuel Kant a priori perception of aesthetics, beauty, okay? And as humanologists, do we agree with that? Well, half and half, yes, half no. Why? 
Yeah, half and half. Okay, so yeah, it's like nature and nurture, right? Some genetics through evolutionary experience. Okay, in our gene, and some nurture aspect, some pattern. Okay, pattern recognition through our postnatal experience after we are born. Okay, yeah, some similar pattern. Okay, yeah. Alright, so yeah, Mr. Emmanuel Kant, he was like kind of mis mystic. He believed in some thing magical, okay, a priori, okay. So, mm, we don't do that here, okay. So. <laughs> okay, we don't do mysticism. Yeah, in artistic context, sure, but not in science, right? It goes like this. Da 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 Five thousand light years from Berlin for I feel preaching the rhythm Long gone up tight years from Berlin and I'm still teaching it with them Here this feeling five thousand light years from Berlin but I know people can hear it, but name it, but made it, but heard it, then play it, well stay it, but land it happened down in Berlin. In the middle of that hub, I remember one jazz club where we went to pet fit down on 52nd Street. Everybody heard that word that they named it after. Board, where the rhythm soup and swirled the jazz corner of the world and the cast they kick in the world we are in compare Berlin I'm singing Berlin Berlin oh swinging Berlin down them stairs lose them cares well down in Berlin to the swing Bob was king well down in Berlin Miles can do train can to to there down in Berlin. Basie Blue Blakey too well down in Berlin. Can on board play that whole there down in Berlin. Yeah, it is a fantastic song. American classic. Yeah, we we'll take a break and we we'll talk about copium transfer, right? We sang Manhattan transfer, the bird land, right? Bird, bird land. Manhattan, New York, okay? We we'll take five minutes break and we we'll talk about copium transfer, all right? Yeah. Tomorrow we'll get back to the gold box conjecture process problem because we know what to do next, right? Yeah, we'll enumerate, okay, the subtraction matrix from that 47 prime number and prior, all right? Yeah, we know what to do tomorrow, so just we'll take it slow, okay? Uh, yeah, let's take five to ten minutes break, okay? I think my laundry is all dried up, so. All right.
Opium transfer. All right. So, uh, I don't know how old or young you are, all right, but. Let's assume that you are old enough, all right? Maybe you may be in your thirties, whatever, all right? Because in this brand of humanology, we do not approve uh, high school, middle school, elementary school dating. We don't approve that, okay? They should be studying, all right? As opposed to holding hands, no. They should be holding pencil and paper instead. They should be studying, okay? If you are in high school, middle school, elementary school, you should be studying, okay? So we don't approve those high school, middle school, elementary school dating at all, all right? Okay? So. We are assuming you are in your thirties, maybe forties, fifties, and beyond. All right. So let's say you are in my age, forties. Okay, I'm forty-one. All right, in year twenty twenty. So yeah, you have some dating experience, most likely, right? All right. <sighs> this electrical power cord. Okay. Let's stop and restart, okay? Because I, I don't want to lose any footage, all right? So. <sighs> 